Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing well. So in this video, we will solve a problem which has multiple loads. So we are finding the reaction forces of this simply supported beam which has a point load, UDL and an axial load. So we have combination of loads and we are finding reactions for this uh, beam. So we have two supports, a pin support and roller support as it is a simply supported beam. So I will redraw the figure converting the UDL into point load and finding the horizontal and vertical component for the axial force. Then it will be easy for us to solve. So to redraw the diagram, it will be like this. We have our pin support here. Let's say this is point A. So at point A, we will have AY reaction and we will have AX reaction. This is my assumption. Again, I am saying upward and rightward. This I have assumed. We have this 20 kN here. We will just write 20 kN. And it is at 2 meters. So this is 2 meters. Now we have this 30 kN and it is a UDL. It is acting on 4 meters. So 30 times 4 is 120. And that 120 will be acting in the middle of this 4 meter. So middle of 4 meter is this 2 meter. So this is 2 meter and here it will be acting 120 kilonewton. 120 is coming from 30 multiplied by 4 because 30 kilonewton per meter and the whole span for the UDL is 4 meter. That's why we are getting 120. Then we have the remaining 2 meter here and we have this one meter which is left and at this point at the end of one meter we have an axial force now axial force is 30 kN acting 45 degree to the horizontal to the beam so I have to show its component so one will be its vertical component which is 30 sin theta and another one will be its horizontal component which is 30 cos theta. So these two components we will have instead of this axial force. And keep in mind theta here is 45 degree. Then we have the 2 meter, the last 2 meter and we have a roller support. Let's say this is point B. So we will have BY here. Only one reaction at the end at point B because it is a roller support. Now we have all unknown forces here. We have shown all the forces on this figure. We can easily solve for the unknown forces. Unknown forces are AY, AX and BY. But we have 30 sin theta, one force here, 30 cos theta. We can just find by like 30 sin 45. So 30 sin 45, sin 45 is 0.7 multiplied by 30 it will be equal to 21.21 kN. And then we have the same cos because sin, sin 45 and cos 45 are same. So 30 cos 45 and that will also be equal to 21.21 kN. So these two forces, the magnitude is equal to this 21 and 21. Now we have all forces, we have to start solving by applying condition of equilibrium. So before starting uh, the problem, I have to set my sign convention again. Is right side is positive, upward positive, and clockwise force is positive. Now to apply condition of equilibrium, let me apply the first condition sum of all the forces in x direction equal to zero. So what are the forces? in the x direction. So sum of all the forces in the x direction equal to 0. Now what are the forces acting in the x direction? Ax is acting in the x direction. Ax is acting to the right. So I am taking positive. Then we have 30 cos theta. Again it is acting to the right. So I will take it positive. Plus 30 cos theta and that's it. There is no other force in the uh, x direction. 
So this will be equal to zero. So a x is equal to minus thirty cos theta, and thirty cos theta is equal to twenty one point two. We have already calculated. So a x is equal to minus twenty one point two one kilonewton. Now here look into this. We have a x minus twenty one point two. Our assumed direction here is to the right. This is our assumption, but we got negative sign. So it means our assumption is wrong, and actually this a x is acting in the uh, to the to the to the left side. It is acting. So our assumed direction, which was to the right, is wrong, and now it is acting to the left side. So here we can say a x is equal to minus twenty one. Or uh, we can remove the minus when we can say left, left one. You can write like this. So this is how we find a x. Now to find b y or a y, we have to take moment about any point here. So let me take moment about point A to find b y. So moment about point A, sum of the moment about point A equal to zero. What are the forces producing moment about point A? We have twenty times two. This twenty kilonewton is acting, and the distance is two meter. Now we have one twenty times again this two plus two four total four plus one twenty times four. Then we have thirty cos theta, but thirty cos theta, the line of action of force is passing from point A, so it will not produce any moment, and we have the the sine component only. So thirty sine theta, which is twenty one point two one, I will just write twenty one point two one times the distance from here to point A, which is two plus two plus two plus one, which is seven meter. And then we have finally the B Y, which is acting upward, so it will produce counterclockwise moment, which I will write here in negative B Y times the total length of the beam, which is nine, and this will be equal to zero. So this is the the, the moment equation about point A on this beam. Now I have to simplify it, so it will be twenty times two is forty plus one twenty times four is Four eighty plus twenty one point two one times seven. Twenty one point two one times seven is one forty eight. And four times nine b y minus nine b y equal to zero. One forty eight point four minus nine b y equal to zero. Now further we can just Simplify this is just addition. You can use calculator to find, and it will be equal to. You will find B Y, and B Y will be equal to. You add forty with four eighty plus one forty eight point four, and then you divide by nine. So it will be equal to seventy four point two kilonewton. You can just do this directly with calculator. Now B Y we found and B Y is positive, so positive means that B Y is acting upward and our assumed direction is right. So our assumed direction was right and it is acting upward. Now we need to find A Y. So A Y how we can find? To take sum of the forces. Some of the forces in the y direction. So let me write some of the forces in the y direction equal to zero. So what are the forces acting in the y direction? A y itself minus twenty minus one twenty minus thirty sine theta, which is twenty one point two, and plus b y equal to zero. Now B Y, 
we know that by is equal to 74.2 so put by 74.2 and add all these so once you add all these you will get ay from this whole you will get minus 86.9 equal to 0 which means that ay is equal to 86.9 kN. So this is how we found ay. Now we these three were, the, were unknown reaction forces ax, ay and by. We found ax here, by we found here and ay we found to verify what you can do you can add some of the forces acting downward so what are the forces acting downward 20 120 and 30 sin theta 30 sin theta is 21.21 so once you add all these all these are equal to 161.2 so all downward forces are 161.2 so upward forces are 2 what are the two Ay 86.9 plus 74.2 which is also equal to 161.2. So upward forces are equal to downward forces. It means your answers are right. So this is how we find reaction forces due to combined loading condition on a simply supported beam.